All right, let's go over the clip hanger, the contents inside the clip hanger, and what's included. So, as you can see, instructions, your webbing strap, your wall hooks to secure it to a wall, and your door hooks with spacers, and your clips, and your buckles. It looks like a lot, but it's really simple and really easy, and I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna show you how to install this on a door using the door hooks and the spacers. So you're gonna get your door hooks and your spacers. First thing you wanna do is take one of your door hooks and put it over the door you want to install it on. As you can see, there's a small gap there. These door hooks are made for exterior and commercial doors, so they're a lot wider than your interior doors. So when you put it on, you're gonna see a small space. That's okay. That's why you have the spacers. So what you're going to do, take the door hook off, peel back the spacers, two of them, Simply install on the inside, like so. And now it will fit nice and snug. You do the same thing for the other door hook. One goes on the top of the door and one goes on the bottom of the door. Let's assume when you put this door hook on the door, it's nice and flush on the front and it's flush on the back. If it's flush on both sides, then you do not need the spacers and you can put those away in case you're gonna put it on a separate door at another time. But if it's flush on a door, you're done. Simply add one to the top and add one to the bottom and you're done. Once the door hook's installed on the top and lined up with the bottom, now it's time to install the webbing strap. Now take your webbing strap, label side up, simply attach it to the door hook, and let your strap hang. Find the sliding buckle on the webbing strap, and if you need to make it longer, you just grab the sliding buckle and pull down. If you need to tighten it, to make it tight, grab, there's two, grab the front, grab the buckle, pull down, and pull up on the buckle. Like that. Loosen the strap until this metal D-ring reaches the bottom of the door hook. Simply attach it to the bottom of the door hook. Now, make snug. Pull down, pull up. You want it a little loose to install the clips and the sliding buckles. Now that you have your webbing strap attached to your door and a little loose, take your sliding buckles with your two clips and slide the buckle from the top and on the bottom. You can place these anywhere along the webbing strap you like. Slide, slide, and it's done. If you need to adjust them, undo the bottom and slide where you want them to be. Make sure your clips are facing forward. Once you have your buckles and clips spaced out on the webbing strap, now you can tighten down the webbing strap with that sliding buckle that's attached to it. Okay, included in the box, you should get 10 sliding buckles and 20 clips. Each buckle should have two clips 
Each clip can store, organize, or display one hat. Let me show you. Simply take the hat, take the clip, and attach it either to the left or the right of the top of the hat. Take your other hat, attach it to the opposite side of the other hat, like so. Your other option is to hang it by the bell. Undo your hats, flip them around, attach each clip to one bell.